Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tackle a key task for anyone managing a Windows Server environment, migrating to a new domain controller. Whether you are upgrading hardware or getting ready to decommission an old server, I've got you covered. And to make things easier, I've documented each step we will be following on my website. I'll show you where exactly where to find everything so you can follow along at your own pace. Let's dive right in. First, let's go over some important pre-migration checks before you touch anything. You'll want to make sure your current domain controller has a supported functional level. If your sysfol replication is still using FRS, that's old file replication service, it's time to upgrade to TFSR, distributed file system replication. This is essential if your domain functional level is 2008 or higher. I have outlined the pre-migration checks step by steps on my website, including how to raise both the forest functional level and the domain functional level. You can find this section right here. You will also find the PowerShell commands that you need to check at the functional level and everything else required for this step. Today we will be migrating our old 2012 server to a 2022 server and for this we will need first functional level of at least 2012. To raise the domain functional level or the first functional level, open the administrative tools, launch Active Directory Domain and Trust, right click on Active Directory Domains and Trust and click raise first functional level. Let's raise it up to 2012 R2, press raise, say OK, OK. We'll also need to raise the domain functional level. For this, we have to go to Active Directory Users and Computers, right click on your domain and raise domain functional level. Here it's already as a tip. You can always use this command to speed things up. And you can see that sync all completed with no errors. Once you've confirmed everything from the pre-migration checks, it's time to migrate sysfol FRS to TFSR. Now this might sound like a complex process, but I've broken it down into four easy steps on my website. Prepared, redirected, eliminated, and finally completion. First, make sure that our sysfol is shared and healthy. And as we can see, every test passed. Next is migrate to a prepared state. And here we can see in this case, I'm already on DFSR, so there's no more need to migrate from FSR to DFSR. If it's not the case and you are, for example, still using an older version, 2008, 2003, you have to go to all these steps. So set global state one to get the prepared state. You can run this command to get the results. And it will say all the main controls are successfully in a global state. In this case, you would like to see are in prepared state. And when they are in prepared state, you can go to the redirect the state and you can set the global state to 2. Again, run this command to make sure all your domain controllers are in the redirect state. From that point you can migrate to the final stage, that is the eliminated state that we already see right here. Run this command and do a final check. Once all your domain controllers have successfully reached each stage, uh, you're good to move on to the next step. All right, now that your sysfol migration is complete, you're ready to install Active Directory Domain Service or ADDS on your new server. In this case, you will see I've my DC2 and it's running server 2022. I've also documented this part of the process in detail on my website. Right here, you'll find all the instructions to guide you through the installation and promotion process. So we'll start by opening Server Manager Go to Add Roles and Features. Make sure if there are multiple servers, select the right one. Choose Active Directory Domain Services and press Install. Once the installation is finished, you can select Promote this server to a domain controller. In this case, we will add the domain controller to an existing domain. In my case, it's domain.local and we will have to provide the credentials to join. And go through the steps in the wizard. Don't forget to insert your DSLM password and continue to go through the wizard. Now, if you plan to decommission the old domain control, you'll need to transfer the FSMO roles, that's flexible single master operations, to the new server. On the site, I've broken down each FSMO role transfer step by step, so it's super easy to transfer the PDC emulator, the RID master, or the schema master. Each role is covered in detail. First, let's check the FSMO roles. Here you will see that the infrastructure master, PDC emulator and the RRD master are still on our own domain controller and check the first level FSMO roles. You will also see 
that's still directed to our old domain controller. And just like earlier, all the PowerShell commands you need are right here on the site and just copy them from the guide and you're good to go. Make sure to change the identity in this case with EC2, but in your case your host name of the new server can vary of course. Now that we have transferred all the roles, you can check it again. And you will see that all the roles are transferred to the new domain controller. Now for the final step, once your FSMO roles are transferred and you've confirmed that your new domain controller is functioning properly, you're ready to decommission the old server if that's part of your plan. One of the main changes you need to do before decommissioning your old domain controller is to make sure that your DHCP uh, scope is configured to enable or configure to the new domain controller. Also everywhere that you have a statically configured IP address of your old domain controller, it needs to be removed and changed to the new IP address of your new domain controller. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to migrate into a new domain controller. Remember, you can find everything I've covered today fully documented on my website, commands, screenshots, and detailed instructions to make the process as seamless as possible. I'll put the link to the full guide down in the description, so feel free to check that out or going through the steps. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more IT tips and tutorials. And of course, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. As a little bonus video, I will show you how to decommission your old domain control. Open on the old domain control your server manager. Go to manage, remove roles and features. Go through the wizard and deselect Active Directory Domain Services. Oh no, you have to demote this domain control first. So I'll click on that and go to the wizard, accept the removal, type in your password and press demote and wait a couple of minutes.